probably need to make a lot more so just hold shift down oops hold shift down and move it like that so let's see again move to path oops that uh, it has to be um, in a not in a non uh, selection here so let's see if this matches a little better um, we can actually make them a little bit smaller we'll just turn this off and we will set the pivot point right just somewhere like that go into the modifier and turn it on again then we can probably scale them a little more down not that much just like so now it goes all the way around, but doesn't come twice. So let's see how this looks. Just um, affect the pivot point, center it to the object. something with that off here we don't have any scale we can scale on this no oops that was the wrong path this path moved to path oh yeah right without that pivot point here again uh, let's just turn this off set the pivot point right set pivot point only set the right again move it in here just click the go and send it to the object that move it and then put this on again move to path and now it seems to be right okay let's just oops, assign the extrude modifier to these like that so as we saw before this worked now we have to put this on too so we will link the line and oops link this and the line to the rectangle now when we move the rectangle that goes width but it doesn't go around so we will just say control 5 transform rotate that position x to these space wall path to form binding percent along path and we only want that to go from rectangle to the box 
so connected. So now when we move this, that is going around. Of course, that's not going right around, but it's going around. First, we can see that it's going in the wrong direction, so we'll put a minus sign on. Now it's going in the Okay, that's actually a little hard to see now. So we'll just multiply it by 0 0.2 and update it. That's not enough. 0 to update. That's not enough. 0 to update it. It wasn't going in the wrong direction. Update. And now it is close being there. Now we just have to Refine this so this has to turn a little faster or slower. Let's just try putting five in and see if it gets better. did not get better so let's try one five update now it's going the other way no so two three update let's see that seems to be very fine so now we close this and we can take these and scale them up just we'll just put the pivot point center them and then make them a little wider here so they look more tank and cool kind of so we'll just select that and move it and it's working thank you you are watching a tutorial on 3dparadise.com